My name is Elliot Morgan, you're watching SourceFed, and I'm about to give you a piece of news. Corey Monteith, aka Finn Hudson on Fox's Glee, was found dead in a Vancouver hotel room this past Saturday. Monteith was 31 years old, and while the obvious suspicion is that Monteith died of a drug overdose, medical examiners will be doing an autopsy today. Monteith had been staying at the hotel for about five days, and he was last seen entering the hotel by himself early Saturday morning. He was found by hotel personnel after he failed to check out on time. Now, recently, actor James Gandolfini passed away, and while the circumstances surrounding both actors' deaths are incredibly different, both went way too soon. Monteith was said to act as essentially the glue that held the show Glee together, always prepared and was always very kind to like guest directors and other cast members. Now, I'm not a Gleek by like any stretch of the imagination. In fact, I always think about that moment in Community when Jeff is crying on Pierce's shoulder and Jeff's like, I hate Glee. And Pierce is like, I'm not crazy about Glee either. And then Jeff says, I hate it. I don't understand the appeal at all. That's exactly how I feel about the show. Community is a great show. Glee, uh to each their own. But just as I wasn't familiar with The Sopranos at the time of Gandolfini's passing, there's something about celebrities dying that just really sucks sometimes. And some people, of course, will say like, who cares? Especially if you're not part of Monteith's or Glee's fan base. But imagine for a moment, okay, that some person who brings you entertainment and you grow attached to over the course of many years is suddenly gone. It sucks, okay? There's just no other word for it. I mean, there are, there's synonyms, but you know, moving on. We let these people into our homes and they become massively successful because of this weird relationship. When celebrities die, we think of them as celebrities, right? If we're not part of their fan base. But they're not just celebrities. To their family, friends, and fans, they're people. And success comes with a dark side, and in Monteith's case, a history of substance abuse. Corey Monteith and Leah Michelle were dating, and the whole situation is just bad. Look, I've said it before, and I'll say it again, and hopefully not again after this for a while. But the people who bring you your entertainment aren't always the spoiled, well-adjusted, vain people we like to think they are. Every person, famous or not, comes with their fair share of issues, some more than others. So let me know in the comments section down below when was the last time a celebrity died and it impacted you more than you thought it would. If that's ever happened, and if it's not, then you know, you can tell me what your favorite song is at least covered. I don't know. Let me know in the comments section down below. Also, while you're down there, if you want to like that video, it helps us out a lot. And you can subscribe to the channel to get all sorts of news of varying levels of interest to your particular tastes. Also, we have this annotation for our five daily stories. My name is Elliot Morgan. Goodbye. <laughs>